Uh, trouble in paradise this morning. The governor of Hawaii now asking for federal help. A fast-moving red-hot lava flow. Look at this. This is threatening homes on the Big Island, and ABC's Clayton Sandell has the very latest. This morning, this red-hot river of molten lava is lurching closer to the Big Island town of Pahoa. 10,000 people are on alert. The lava has advanced the length of at least six football fields in just the past few days. And that was quite alarming because before it looked like it really wasn't going to do anything. Evacuations could come within days for those living right in the path. Thousands of others could be cut off by lava-choked roads. This flow erupted from the Kilauea volcano in June, traveling 11 miles, now less than one mile from Pahoa. And uh, there is really no stopping this lava because it's on a march to the sea. Thermal cameras capturing a rainbow of intense heat. Oh man. We hiked to the lava's leading edge. It is incredibly hot. It's almost like literally standing inside of a furnace. Locals have seen this before. The volcano that helped create this island has been erupting nonstop since 1983, destroying nearly 200 homes in 1990. This morning, crews are desperately building new roads around the lava, and now it's a waiting game for a force of nature the islanders know is unstoppable. For Good Morning America, Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Pahoa, Hawaii.